Hello there everybody, it's me Waddles, welcome back. The other week I made a quick and to the point video about banner patterns. You guys actually seem to love that format, so today we're back with another one of those quick guides. The focus of today's feature guide video is, of course, the wonderful brand new bell block. By the end of this video, you should know pretty much everything about the bell. If you like the video, you know what to do. If you really like the video, hit that subscribe button. If you really, really like the video, consider becoming a channel member. It would help me out a lot, and I would appreciate it even more. You do get some cool benefits for that, by the way. Now, the goal of this video is to be quick and get right to the point, so I think we better get moving on. So first off, the bell. What is it? Well, this right here is the bell. Bells can be hung off the side of blocks, placed on blocks, and even hung uh, like below blocks, just like I have here. Bells are affected by gravity, so that means if you place a bell on something and then you break that thing, uh, the bell is going to drop down to the ground. Bells can be rung, uh, just like this, and they do something when you ring them, but we'll get into that in a minute. The texture of the bell stand is pretty similar to the acacia log texture, and then the texture to the bell cross beam or crossbar is pretty similar to the spruce wood texture. Bells are not craftable. That means you'll need to go and loot a bell from somewhere in the world or trade for it. You can find bells in almost every village, usually in the town centers or town marketplaces. Basically, you're looking for a fountain or something like that. This bell was naturally generated right here. The bell is not tied to any villager profession, so you don't have to feel bad about pulling this thing out and taking it home. The villagers really won't care at all, and I, I don't think they're smart enough to even notice. But let's say you're not too keen on stealing a bell. Well, you can actually trade for a bell as well. This is a weaponsmith. Weaponsmiths will trade a bell at their apprentice level for 36 emeralds. The apprentice level is the second level, so you only need to level up your villager one time. My bell is discounted for 34 emeralds right now, so that's kind of nice. I can save some emeralds. The weaponsmith isn't the only villager that you can buy a bell from. Armorer villagers have a 1 in 3 chance to sell a bell at their apprentice level again for 36 emeralds. So, same price, um, but lower odds. As a quick little reminder, the weaponsmith profession is tied to the grindstone, and the armorer profession is tied to the blast furnace. If your armorer villager does not have a bell at its apprentice level, that armorer will never be selling a bell. The bell won't come in later, it's just not there. Now, what does the bell do? Well, the bell has two main uses. Use one is to basically send any villager near the bell into a frenzy and uh, make them run inside. So I rung the bell, these villagers are kind of freaking out and they will seek out a house and go inside and close the door. Uh, but the villagers do get confused when other ones open and close the door, and yeah, this guy uh, just really can't figure it out. <laughs> They'll stay inside for a little while and then wander back out of the house. This functionality works on both Bedrock Edition and Java Edition. This use is a Java Edition exclusive. Uh, let's say we had a raid going on in the town. We probably need something a little more than peaceful. <laughs> but anyways, we have a raid going on in the town. The villagers are going to go into a frenzy, they can indeed ring bells, but if we decide to ring a bell once a raid has entered the town, all of the members of that raid will be highlighted with the spectral effect. There is a catch to this though, the bell needs to be somewhat near the raiders it seems. If I ring this bell over here, um, I don't know if all of these guys will get highlighted. Okay, they will, because they're close enough, but sometimes, and this may be more of a bug, but sometimes they won't get that highlighted effect. That is, again, a Java exclusive. Now let's slide over to the Bedrock Edition to talk about the bell's exclusive little mechanic over here. On Bedrock Edition, bells can be rung with a redstone signal. That does not work on Java, which is a big bummer. Just about everything else about the bell should be the same though. Let's talk about one more thing before we wrap up for the day. Bells can be rung when they are shot with an arrow. This works on both versions of the game. As of the Bedrock 1.12 update, which is not currently out, uh, bells can also be rung with splash potions, which is kind of cool. That doesn't work over here though, unfortunately. Um, so you'll have to either shoot the bell or ring it with your hand. But I think that just about sums up the bell in its entirety. If I missed anything big, throw it in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. What features should I go over next? On the end slide will be that banner pattern video, as well as my 1.14 playlist if you're looking for more content from me. 
I am Waddles. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.